Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and obviously we over on Lost Island, and I have in front of me a couple of Dino Pithecus. Now these are the new creatures of Ark. I'll go ahead and kind of go into first person so I can kind of show you them. They've got some really awesome features, and I'm going to show you a full kind of like how to use these things, all their cool, neat little things. First off, notice the, uh, yeah, the color regions everywhere, including different colored butt cheeks. You got black, brown green, red, all kinds of colors on these things. They're super cool. So their stats individually, this isn't even that high of one right here. Obviously you can see that it's, uh, it could certainly be better. Um, and uh, it is something that is a very, very nasty. T that's me. That's my stats. That's not nasty. These are nasty. So I did one level of health just to see, and it went up 300 points. So yeah, these things can get some pretty tanky health. Their stamina can go pretty high as well. Their weight can be pretty crazy. Move speed looks like it goes up a little bit. And that melee damage, I'm just going to crank that up a little bit just to see what we can get on it. I'm sure you can get much better than this one because it's only a 100 tame. But yeah, they have some pretty nutso stats. Uh, maybe that's just personal opinion but uh i want to you know go ahead and test and go ahead and bring that guy back to full health uh there's the 196 let's go ahead and drop him out there and boom full health again so they can hold grenades and they can also hold poop now we're going to go ahead and put some of this feces and this uh, i've got different sizes of feces and grenades on this guy so it's ready to go we're going to go ahead and hop on the back here you can see there is something you can put on its head so you can technically take a let's say you want to take a helmet and put it on its head Let's just get a flak helmet out here, and boom. You can put a flak helmet on its head. It does look absolutely hilarious and, like, just terrifying. Look at that. That's, 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 yeah, that's just scary. So, um, other than looking terrifying, this thing has some crazy, crazy abilities. So, its right click is a ground pound. You can see it right there, and it just does that ground pound. It doesn't seem to pick up anything at all when I've, I've tested it, at least. I'm sure you might have the ability to pick up meat on it, but it's something that I haven't figured out yet. So you can left-click as well, which is kind of like a bite attack on him. Um, there's also a sprint like you see here, and he's got a jump ability that makes him go a very, very long distance. Yeah, just like that right there. Pretty crazy, actually. Um, if you hold the... the spacebar it seems to do the exact same thing as just a tap of the spacebar for jumping purposes it's a little bit higher maybe if you hold it but I don't really see it being that much better if any at all um, damage wise he's pretty good um, we'll go ahead and show you with you know, a couple of swings on that guy it's a 324 and that was just his left click attack the right click attack um, let me see if we can find something there we go okay maybe apparently it doesn't have a very big hit radius what Maybe it's got no hit radius at all, so. so there's a 324 for that left click. Now you can also go into a special mode here, and that is when you, you hit your tertiary attack. Um, this will allow you to, so you can see my con left control, I've got poop and I've got grenade, and then I can make infested grenades too. Um, and you, yeah, that's just a cool little thing right there. You can see all these different types of attacks, so pretty neato. All right, so in order to enter the throw grenade mode, you have to hit X on keyboard, and you can kind of see where I'm at, and I can just throw that grenade, which is kind of cool, um, and it'll drop down just like a normal grenade and blow things up. So we're going to go ahead and throw some into the water here, and with the monkey, he seems to be able to throw them pretty far, which is kind of nice, obviously, and uh, he, he slings them pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and show you max distance on this guy. So we're going to go at about 45 degree angle. And he can chuck him a pretty solid distance, just so you can see. He's pretty far, not too shabby. Um, and again, how we had that menu come up is we were able to hit left control. And you can kind of do the kinds of, see what you have access to in your inventory. Infested grenade. And whoop, And that infested grenade is going to blow up. And it's going to have that uh, poop on it as well. So... Now, you can also just throw straight up poop if you really wanted to do that. So, obviously, you can see I've got the infested grenade here. But if I was to hit that left control again, I can switch to poop modes. Um, and it allows me to throw those things. Just like that. So, now we're going to go ahead and speed up and throw is on cooldown. So, I'm going to come on now. I'm going to go ahead and hit this spino with these grenades just to show you the kind of DPS that we're able to get out of this thing. So, come on down, and launch him, Oop. and you can see he's been poisoned, and uh, he's got like a slow effect on him, and we're going to go ahead and launch poop again, and it hits.
hits him for the 10. Now we can also go ahead and switch to our infested grenade, so we'll see how much this guy does. And, and unfortunately there is a cooldown on it, so we're going to have to wait to hit him with it again. Really? Come on, go off. Really? Not going to go off with me? Alright, so we're going to see how that this works out for us. There we go. So 175 and it infests him, so pretty cool with that. For a regular grenade this time, and just show you the comparison. So it's 175 for the infested, 175 for the regular. But making an infested grenade will cause that slow and that poison effect, which is obviously a pretty big deal. Um, so having that as an option is very useful. All right. So now you notice those when we were sprinting, um, those little icons that showed up. You can kind of sit on walls and stuff like that. Um, Let's see if I can actually show you. When I'm holding my sprint button here. It'll kind of give me an activator once we get near a wall. Please. There we go. Climbing mode. There you go. So you saw that little thing show up. So eventually you can hit spacebar in order to go onto these walls and literally just climb cliff faces, which is obviously super useful. Um, you just have to hit spacebar when you're near a wall, and you'll be able to uh, climb all over the place. And there's nothing special, it's just like left, right, up, and down. And that's, you can see, like, that's how he's jumping around right there. Now, if you hold spacebar, he will jump off of the wall. And that is something that is interesting, for sure. Um, but if you're sprint mode, you can kind of jump on the wall and then double tap that spacebar in order to just straight up climb a cliff. It is pretty neato. Um, he does have the ability to scream if he has the like a battle cry or a roar if you have other Dino Pithecus near you, and that can be activated, I believe, with C is how you activate that guy. Um, but obviously, you've got the grenade modes with the left control, X is throw that grenade, and then C is that special, and then the pound attack right there. You can see that it does clear a little bit out there. It doesn't seem to do any damage to anything, which is fine, but... Uh, it's just a pretty cool creature in general because you've got a lot of really neat functionality to it. So you got that bite, uh, and that looks like we are able to do 302 damage with that fist pound there. And it does have a little bit of a knockback on it too. So it does do quite a bit of damage. And he does gather a very ridiculous amount of meat out of that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get up nice and close and see if we can gather. I like, can't gather with the pound, you just have to use the uh, left foot. So, that background pound does have a little bit of a knockback, does have a little bit of a special ability on it, um, but not too too useful outside of that. But that jump ability, and then you tap spacebar near the wall, it's going to let you just scale walls at a hilarious level. So it's going to mean that rating and stuff like that is a lot easier, because a high level helmet is going to mean that your Dino Pithecus can basically soak whatever you need it to do in order to raid somebody's base, which is obviously pretty useful. So anyways, this is just a quick review of this guy. Hopefully it does help you out. And if you're liking the content, make sure you like and subscribe. That'd be awesome. I'm trying to get as much content as I can for you guys. But uh, these things are pretty freaking powerful. So hopefully this helps you out. Teach. Out.